what do you mean by that? He said, what, what was the question again? Where am I going to find my wife? Well, the answer is you won't find her in here. Where am I, where am I going to find that good girl? You have, to, you have to project what you want, you know? So, like, if you're looking for a wife, you got to... You gotta project a husband, husband-like material. You might find one of these holes in here or something. Yeah, that's cool. You know, go waxing them bitches. You know, you need going about your business. You know, you ain't gonna find no wife in church. You ain't gonna find one on the interstate. You know, bumping that Jeezy or whatever you listen to. You know, you have to get out there. You gonna have to project yourself. You have to get yourself ready. Yeah, but because I mean, having a wife is a lot of things. You know, you. I mean, you're a provider. You're a husband. You're a friend, confident. You have all those things. So if you're not emotionally ready for that, you don't need to see that, bro. But I feel you. But we was in the club tonight, and these other dudes moved in on my girl, man. She wasn't your girl. She was just another bitch up in this club. Cause I guarantee you, she getting dick right now. She ain't eating you up. How she your girl, bro? You just met her in here. She can't be your girl, man. You want me to know, you want me to tell you why? So how do I deal with that? What do I Okay, do? you can't deal with that because guess what that bitch gonna do? She gonna go fuck him, she gonna get that little money, and she gonna go all about her business. Cause you know, you gotta be able to perceive these things, these homes, man. You gotta be able to perceive and project what a woman really is doing. You know, I said that to say this. You know, for the most part, a woman is gonna find, she ain't gonna find you. You gotta, I mean, you gotta go places where women go. Do you read? Are you an avid reader? What's the last book you read? The Bible. Okay, kill yourself. The Bible is not a book to be read. It's a book, it's a reference point for your life. You reference the Bible for different stages in your life. You, you know, when you're going through shit, you get scriptures and they get you through your life. It's not a book to be read openly like that. You reference it for your life. In church, do the, do the guy, do he just keep referencing the Bible? I mean, does he keep just quoting the Bible word for word? No, he references it to, to relay a point that he's saying. You know, so no. Okay, you need to become more. I mean, you have to project. You have to project what you're looking for. Out there, I can't tell you no more simple than that. If you want a wife, man, you have to you make sure you husband material. Don't jump into some to where you get divorced three years from now. Now your self esteem is in the dirt. You know, somebody's waxing your wife or ex wife, and you know you, you ain't feeling that. He tell you so the truth, dog. Tell you, go ahead, I'm over I was excited, man, because that girl, she was looking good. She looked good, but everything that good ain't gold, bro. bro. Every, and everything that's good ain't good that for bitch, you, I bet that bitch got a 500 credit score. I'm 721. She can't touch me. She could eat the nuts at <laughs> I want letters. She might pull me down a point. You know? I want a bitch with a 700 FICO. Because if I need a cosigner, guess what, baby? You gonna sign? Yeah. No question. That's what a wife does. Yeah. All right, bro. You know? That's what you gotta present. What's your credit score? About six eighty. You can't get no financing on the house. You might get eighteen percent. They want seven hundred nowadays. I'm trying. How you gonna put her on the house if you want? I'm trying. You gonna, you gonna feel like a man if you got a wife and you can't put her where she wanna be at? You might move her into a two bedroom. She really wanted a three because she wanted to expand her family. Now you just killed her three. What you doing now? Right. Think about these things, man. Project what you want, bro. But Think about no. But she said she only had one kid, but now all of a sudden she got two. Okay, well, you know, she, okay, if she said one thing and then had something different, what's that, what's that thing? She don't know what she wants. She don't know what she wants in life. So she'll lay down and let a nigga spread her evil. You know? He tell you the truth she now. I say she love you, but guess what? If, if Johnny comes through there and put that dick about this long in her, she gonna love him. <laughs> you laughing, but there's some nigga splitting your bitch right now that you didn't even date. Some bitch you met in the bar. I tell you, man, I tell you what, like, is, I met this chick. If I meet a chick at the bar and she run off with a dude, that's, yeah, that's Let's go. That's what it's great working. Alright. It's, it's whatever, because, you know, I, I tried and uh, she, she just kind of like. Hey, you want me to tell you something? You need to have a lot more one night stands, bro. That'll get your life, that'll put your life in perspective. Because once you start fucking these hoes and fucking them good, you'll put your life in perspective. You can fuck these girls and then you can go home. You know? That's how you gotta do it, because you don't, you don't, you know, go over this house, go over this bitch house, knock her down, and then go home. And get your life together. You know, because you don't want these shit, you just want how they can make you feel. You know? It's been the real. I'm just telling you, hey. <laughs> You I'm just saying, you don't want these bitches. I don't want, I just want how she can make me feel. Hey. You know, that's, that's all it is. If she wants the same thing from you, but she can't project that. Well, that's, what she do, she jump from this dude to that dude to this dude to that dude. Because she done talked to three dudes in this night, you was the third one. Let me tell you what I did to this dude. What you do? The dude that was outside, I said, you're trying to talk to her, you know, my girl's face. 
She's not the girl. She's not the girl. She's not the girl. You give, look, I'm going to tell you why, though. Listen. When he tells you that, he's te listen. He's telling you that, he's telling you not to reference her as a girl. Not because. You're not, giving yourself a, a sense of false hope. No, no. Not, when, not even that. Not even that. He's telling you not to reference her as your girl. Not because. I mean. You gotta understand when you when you reference a girl uh, a chick as your girl, if you respect yourself, you putting her on a pedestal. I'm never calling a bitch my girl if I don't respect her. Listen, for a bitch for a girl to be my to be my chick, she gotta have some she gotta have value to her. So if you met a girl in one night, you never thought of never, girl. No, never. Why? why would you project that? Remember you, when I said earlier, you what you project is what you get back. So if you project yourself as a thirsty dude. And you call your girlfriend, your boyfriend, how many drinks you buy tonight? Don't lie. About five. Okay, well, who she leave with, though? Why she ain't leave with you? You you gave her up for another nigga to come in and kill her. And he riding her right now. And I hope that hurts. So next time that $25 you spent on her, if you go in your pocket, you like, I sip on mine, you know what I'm saying? And if you ain't got the money to buy your own drink, what I'm gonna do? I'm not finna play case the situation back and fill another bitch up, you know? No, he tell you the truth though, dog. No, sir. What's up? You know, you bought a five months, you got a full. The bitch playing the game, you know, shit. That, I would say that chicken there with all kind of dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't even about that. But back to the basic, man. You're not going to find a wife in this bar. You're not going to find nothing you're looking for in this bar. The only thing you're going to find is a good night. Go stick tight, get up and go to work Monday morning and get back on the job, man. Project what you're looking for. You looking for a girlfriend? I mean, cr cruel social media, man. Become active in your community. Read books. Barnes and Noble. A lot of smart women go to Barnes and Noble, sit down, have coffee, read books. You might, I mean, educate yourself, elevate yourself. You know, okay. become more than what you are right now. You know, pick up. A, I mean, you, you, hey, this is a book called Sun Tzu: The Forty Eight Laws of Power. Best book you probably could ever read. It'll change your perception on life. You know, I yeah. mean, real talk. It's a lot of things. I mean, you have to become knowledgeable. Women, women, are, women are like. Have you ever did a, uh, uh, a Rubik's cube? Rubik's cube. Rubik's cube. Have you ever finished no. the Rubik's cube? It took me about a year and a half to finish one. Now I can do one in about eight, nine minutes. Because once you understand how something works, you can get it to work to your advantage. When you first start out with something, you know you, you might fumble, fall. That's but the once truth, you figure out how things work and how things align. You know, when you become a light and you read and you open your understanding, your knowledge about women and what they really want, a woman just wants a confidence. You can, you can be rich or poor. You see, ever see these rich women with these poor dudes that they started out with because they just want a confidence. They want how that person can make them feel. You see? That's, that's all it is, man. You know, so it's an emotional game, but you have to be emotional, emotionally detached from yourself so you can project what you really want. So when you say, oh, I'm living with this other dude, you can't get butt hurt about it, okay? That's how the game goes. Next time I'm gonna get my dick sucked in the bathroom, then I'm gonna buy you a drink. Let's see, so I done already got mine out of the situation if you wanna play a bitch like that. Well, you see, you know, I understand that with you. The you don't understand it because you bought her five drinks. And you ain't, like, she sucked your dick in her? No, she did not. We was working, we was working on You was not finna get there. I'm telling you, bro. See, the problem was. What's that, the problem? Let me know, bro. The problem was that I found this girl and they was going good. However, how was it going good? Tell me how it was going good. We were outside, we were talking. What y'all talking about? I'm talking about her hopes and dreams. And okay, well, you should have. If she, if she come here to talk to you about her hopes and dreams, she's not coming here to be with no man. She's thinking about her life and the situation she's in. She's not fixated on you. She can't be fixated on you if she tells you about her problems. You know? I mean, she can't be. You know? Her pro if her problems are priority in her life, how can she give you 10% of anything? So how you gonna, how you gonna look for a girlfriend for somebody who's in a different place in their life than you? She's at a place to where she's financially struggling, trying to get by. You're at a place where you're looking for a girlfriend. So you gonna so you gonna, you gonna, you set yourself up for failure. So I like so like okay, you're a wealthy man. Okay, I can help you out with this. I can pay your bills. I can do this, that, that for you. The attachment y'all made was financial. It wasn't emotional. So she could break off you at any time. You see what I'm saying? They tell you the truth, dog. I'm hey. just saying, you, you, you get this stuff. I'm happy I'm getting this. I'm telling you, man, because like, you got to think about these things. If a person, if you all have a person is always talking about what they don't have, what they need, what you can, what they can't do for you, that person is emotionally detached and their finances is in the forefront. You see this? Man, man, you're looking good today, man, but shit, my phone's going to be off, bro. I'm going to have to hit you up on Facebook.
damn, bro, man, you looking good, man. That shirt look good on you, man. My shit's broken down. I ain't had the money to buy nothing else. The finance, it's always in the front. I can never say, hey, how you doing, man? You know, you looking good today, you know? From a, a, a objective point of view. You, how you looking good today, man? Should we all get together and have coffee one day? A chick that's, that's not worth, you know, you gotta make sure you where you need to be at. Or where she, or she's where, or you gotta make sure you where you need to be at, financially, emotionally, physically. So, I, so none of those things will project what you're looking for. See, when you're looking for an emotional attachment and or what up, boy? What are you looking for? <laughs> I thought the nigga was <laughs> Fuck that nigga. But when you're looking for an emotional attachment to somebody, make sure everything else is in line. You know, so you ain't got to look for anything else. You know? See, like me, man, I'm financially secure. I got everything I want at this point. So I don't need, I don't need none of that other stuff. My life has su sufficed at this point, so none of these hoes can give me nothing I'm lacking. You know? Nothing. I'm there. Not there. Not there where I want to be. You know, I'm not a millionaire yet. So, you know, I'm project. I'm not projecting anything. So a bitch coming in, in my face, laughing, smiling, hey, how you doing? You know, yeah, you know, that's fine. I don't need nothing from you. Nothing. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah, what's up? Let me ask you this. If uh, if you don't have, say, I'm not at your level yet. No, I don't have a level, bro. I'm just educated. In, in the, in, I mean, I'm just educated spiritually, mentally, emotionally, and financially. I know everything I want to do with my life, and I set a plan to get there. You know? See, when you start having goals, shit start lining up. When you start having goals, I mean, I'm going to hit the gym a couple times, you know? I'm going to get fit. You know, boom. You might meet somebody there that's working out. Hey, how you doing? You know, boom. You might see her again. Hey, how you doing? When your life is moving how you want, to, want it to be, People will come in and out of your life for a season. She might have just been in your life for a season, one night. Best yeah, night of your life. God damn, she look good now. She look man, good, quick one. Hey, I'm telling you something, man. When you go looking for those material things and those looks, that's what somebody's projecting on us. You know, you might get that, and then six months later, it might not be, it might be something else. You never know, man. You can't, you, I mean, looks, looks is fine. That's cool. But, you know, you... She look good. She look good. Get on back page and buy you something that look good. You go home and go to sleep. If that's what you're going off looks, find the baddest bitch on that. Spend that bread and, you know, do what you do. And go home and be secure in your life. You ain't got to worry about girlfriend. You got to worry about boyfriend or whatever you pray. You, gotta, you ain't, you ain't got to worry about uh, her leaving with the next dude. Because she going to, if you. Hey, cause she gonna, hey when you call her, she going to come there and be for your beck and call for that allotted time period of life. That woman is yours. Hey, I'm gonna so you, tell you. you know, I'm, hey, I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. I'm happy this conversation is going on. I'm behind the camera. You know, we got, we got, we got Doctor T right here. We, you know, we got the patient. It's okay though. This is, this is, per, you know, this, this is perfect. Ele elevating, elevating your, 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 your understanding of stuff, man. You know? Well, let me tell you something, man. Like, yeah, speak because on. Because that girl, man, I that girl, I had her in my sights, and I wanted that you girl. Didn't, you didn't, you didn't secure the kill. Well, yeah. see, we'll it's see nobody's fault but yours. If I see something, I go get on you. Like, I, I didn't want trouble with there. Well, hey, I'm gonna make trouble for what I want. Yeah. What you mean? I'm. A, hey, if I see something, I, hey, I'm a. See, right now, I can never be in that situation because if I see, I can't sit here and regret what I could have did. Nigga sound like Ray Lewis, son. I could. Man, My I bad. Can't. He's been the. Hey, we having a no. serious conversation right now, brother. You know, I'm serious. What's up? All right. Well, I, I can't. I can't. I listen. I can't. I can't Say, hey, man, what I should have, could have done. I got a lot of should have, could have in my life, but I'm not going to do it no more. I'm not going to say, damn, I should have said something to her. Damn, man. Fuck. I, ain't gonna, I can't do that, man. Not at this point. Not at 27 years deep. I can't say it no more. Because if I see it, I mean, it's to the real. Get, at least you went up there and gave the, put, presented yourself the opportunity to have that chance. See, so right now, you... You, that, you that, wishing you would have, should have, could right that now. feeling you get. Hey, I got a question for you. I got a question for you. Uh, and you got to be serious and ask and ask yourself this question. Yeah, don't yeah, don't come over here, brother. Yeah. yeah. Do you... Do you... Listen. If somebody could say... We can rewind time right now, right? And you wish you had something else you could have said to that girl. Would there be something you want to say? Yes or no? I don't want to know what you wanted to say. I want to know, is there something else you would want to say? Ye yes or no? Yeah. I didn't ask for your input. Yes or no? I don't even know this dude. Yeah. Yeah, man. God bless you, bro. We not, you know.
We having a conversation. You bust me. Yeah. And shake. No, I don't shake hands. I'm sorry. It's just I don't like I'll it. It's gross. All right. Yeah. All right. Have a good night, bro. All right, brother. All right. Can you please go on your way, sir? I can't. God be with you. Hey, be with you too. I, I appreciate. I appreciate hey. that, bro. You know what? What? Me and you. Me and you. We both. He goes we, on its way, right? Hey, yes, sir. Have a good night. All righty, brother. May All right. Allah protect you and keep you. In. Now. So, so anyway, now back to what I'm saying. I don't want to know what, what, what you would want to say. I want to know, is there, if, if somebody said, hey, I can rewind time, is there something that you would want to say, yes or no? If you say no, yes or no? Yes. Yes. So if you can say yes, that means you didn't say everything that you should have said. It's what, basically what he's explaining to you. He said, if it's something that he wants, he's going to go get it. There's Steve Harvey said, man, that you'll never, you'll, you'll never get nowhere if you don't jump off that cliff. You might have a parachute and motherfucker might get stuck. You gotta pull it a few times, but you jump, man. You didn't sit there and say, damn, that bitch going down there. I'll... She might be halfway to the bottom, but if you jump, you might catch her, huh? You gotta take a chance, though. Hey. No? Let, me no. tell you, let me tell you something. Tell about me you. something, bro. Let me tell you about these girls, man. What about that? You want me to stop it or you do? You know what I know? Talk to you, gentlemen, tonight. Yes, sir. Um, what have you learned? How we want to know that? I've learned, God, I've learned more. I have learned more than I could ever learn. Going out with any girl or any friends tonight at any bar. This is a perfect song, soundtrack to my. Uh, so what'd you learn though? What'd you learn, bro? Stay on top. What I learned is that what this handsome young man told me. He told me that do not care, do not. I never said. He, he didn't care. say he didn't care. I know. I, I never said. I said project yourself with what you want. Yeah. Do not make. The female know that you are interested in her. I hurt. never said that. Yeah, he never said I that. Never said that. Well, he right said then. that. You, no, you got it. I'm just messing with you. Just but, be. Just but be we'll, we'll end it on this, though, man. Would you, would, you, would, you, would you like project what you want? That's all I'm going to say. Project what you want and be ready for those things that come with what you want. So, if, so you know, if you're looking for a girlfriend, wife, husband, project that. If you're looking for a one night stand, project that. You get the bitch full of drinks. You know, ask if you want to hit a little of that weed Man, or the pills or whatever. I, I tell you, you know, what and, you, and you do your thing. But if you're looking for something more than that, project that. And, you know? and you know what? You had said something earlier. You said, "Oh, I bought her five drinks." If you're looking for a girlfriend or a wife, you don't buy her five drinks I'm in the club. To I'm going to tell you like this. You, if I meet my wife in the club and I'm somebody that I'm actually interested in, really like, like, like that on that level, I might buy her a drink. But I'm gonna buy her that drink and say, you know what? I'm buying this drink for you because I. I'm interested. I, you know, we having a good time. We're sociable. And then when she says, "Oh, can you give me another drink?" Another, I'm not. I respect you too much, and I look at you in a different light. And what I see for you, I don't want to buy those many drinks for you because I want you to remember what we're talking about. You know where I was before I came here? Where? Where? I was at the strip club. Okay. Okay. Well, you know what? I was at baby you know, so. Okay. Hey, let me tell you something. What you looking for? You ain't gonna find. You're nothing gonna find. I'm not, I'm not looking for sex. You know, what, you looking well, what are you looking for then, bro? I'm looking for a good girl. You know, You're not going to find them in yeah, those you, places, though, bro. You I'm might find a select crew that's just trying to get by. But, man, nine times out of ten, they just in there with a purpose in mind. They projecting what they want. You to spend their money, your money, on them. That's what they project. Tell you the truth now, dog. You know? He's just preaching. Like about, hey, you ever, you ever been to the casino? You know, the odds of the house versus you is a lot. That's a strip club. It's a casino. Hey, you go in there maybe with, hey, I'm going to spend $20. But she said, hey, man, get this band. Let's come over here and let's talk. You know, you might talk. She might start grinding on you. But shit, let's, let's step in a little longer. You know, she's projecting what she want from you. That money. How much you spend in the strip club, dog? Don't lie. Be real with yourself. I, I spent 150 tonight. Hey, okay. Know why? You could have spent 150 On back page. And then, man, good right, for the whole you night. Been straight, you ain't fucked none in there, huh? You better spend that I, money. I, wow. I, uh, I, I got to touch and feel. I ain't touching none, bro. If I touch it, I'm going in there. <laughs> he ain't touching you. What you talking about? Yeah, man? you can't just touch nothing, dog. I'm not playing, no guy. Listen, bro. I'm, hey, I'm going to tell you like this, bro. 150? Oh, no, that was today. I'm going to tell you the truth, dog. That's a light deal, bro. 150 bucks, bro. <laughs> I gave a bitch 150 bucks. I'm fucking her, her best friend, her friend. For 150, dog. I'm, but, but that's what you wanted for the time. You know, you. I mean, bro, you you got. I mean, first, first off, you got. You got. Hold on. I'm gonna fucking get wild, but not. Man, you just gotta. What you feel like?